How's it going everyone? Um, so in this video, uh, we are starting a new module in HDB Academy called using the Metasploit framework. Uh, so we're going to be going over um, this first exercise here called modules. Um, so I'm not going to go over everything um, from the notes section here. Um, we're just going to jump right into how to complete this exercise. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Um, so go ahead and spawn your target system. And then I have my Kali Linux uh, VM up and running. Um, if you don't have a VM, just go ahead and start your instance on HDB Academy. All right, so in the instructions, it says use a Metasploit framework to exploit the target with Eternal Romance. And then we got to find the flag file on the administrator's desktop. All right, so uh, first things first, uh, let's launch the Metasploit framework. So that's going to be MSF console. And this should take probably about you know five five to ten seconds to uh, to boot up. All right, so once you're booted up, um, it wants us to exploit the target with Eternal Romance. So that's the specific exploit we're going to use. Uh, so so in order to search for a specific exploit, um, it's easy to remember. It's just search. So search, and then you type in the name, and then go ahead and hit enter. All right, so we have two. We have an exploit, and then we have an auxiliary. So let's go ahead and use the exploit. So in order to use that one, uh, you can just say use zero, or um, instead of zero, you can actually just copy uh, this part and then paste it in. But uh, zero is way faster and easier, so just say use zero, hit enter. All right, so now we are in the exploit. So um, in order to kind of configure the parameters, um, we have to see what options we need to set for it, right? So um, let's go ahead and type in show options. So this will give you the parameters that you need in order to run the exploit. Um, so you can see in this column that says required, um, these are the parameters that need to have values in order for the exploit to work properly. Um, so you can see here for our hosts, um, this is required and it's blank. So let's go ahead and set that. So in order to set a parameter with a value, um, it's just going to be set, and then our host, the name of the parameter. And then in our case, it's going to be your target system over here. So for me, it's going to be 10.129.179.177, and then go ahead and hit enter. All right, so we set that. And then another piece of info is the local host, the L host. So this is the listen address of the um, computer that you have uh, control of. Um, so in order for the reverse TCP to work, it has to come back. And this is the IP address that you're listening on. Um, so you can see it's for me, it's already filled in. Um, but this is using the wrong IP address. So it's actually using the IP of my Windows system. It's not using the IP of my Kali Linux VM um, that is currently VM to HTTP Academy. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that really quick. So that's going to be set L host. And then it's going to be tunnel zero or TUN zero. So that is the adapter on my VM that is currently VPN to the HDB Academy uh, network. All right. So once you have your parameters set, in order to run the exploit, you just type in run or just the word exploit and then let it do its thing. And this should take about, mm, about 10 seconds or so. All right. And then once you see my interpreter, um, you are set. So now in order to get to the Windows command line, you're just going to type in shell and this will launch the Windows shell. All right, so now we are on the command line of that remote system. Um, and you can type in who am I and that'll tell you that you got admin access here. Um, and then now we got to go to that flag file. So it tells us um, that it's located on the administrator's desktop. So that's pretty easy. So in order to navigate to that, um, it's a kind of the same thing as Linux. So it's a CD, and then you type in the uh, location. So for Windows, it's going to be users, and then the name of the user. So in our case, administrator. And then we're going to the desktop. All right, and then to see the list of files, you can do DIR. Um, and then there you go. You can see the text file right there. Um, and then in order to view the contents of the file, you can type in type and then the name of the file. And there you go. So here is the answer uh, for this module. Instead of type, you can actually do more, uh, more flag.txt and that'll get you the 
uh, same results. So uh, that's it, guys. Um, so that's how you do this first uh, question in the Metasploit module. So I hope you guys found this really useful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. And if you enjoyed the content, please subscribe, and uh, we'll talk to you guys later.